Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. What's up to all of my love bugs? Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I can't even talk. Here it is. Here it goes. Starting early. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Right? We're almost in the middle of um, the work week, you guys. So just pace yourself, stay prayed up, stay hydrated, you know, take deep breaths, woo side, and don't let a ML forget under your skin. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's tap in and let's see what messages, let's see what's going on with the person that you are dealing with. The person could be from your past, someone you're currently dealing with. Let's see what message the Spirit has for you guys. All right, ancestors, Holy Spirit, galactic family, divine beings. Go ahead and give me messages for my beautiful gods and goddesses. Go ahead and give me messages for my love, love, Holy Spirit. Let the music Okay, so we have self-love, I'm healing, and I'm jealous. So you guys, why is this person jealous of you? Because you are healing from something that they did to you. This is this is already starting to behoove me. This is already puzzling to me. So you guys are dealing with someone who is jealous. They're, they're clearly jealous of your healing, the fact that you... Your healing work. You ever heard of footwork? You're a healing work, okay? You guys have the gift to heal yourself. You don't need anybody to heal you. Some people can't heal themselves. They need actually to go to therapy, counseling. They have to, some of y'all don't even need, like, I, almost, I wanna say Reiki sessions. Like, some, some of you guys are powerful healers where you can literally heal yourself. You guys know the, um, the series, Always a Witch? That was her gift. She's a healer. So she could heal herself and she could heal other people as she could heal others as well. Like she could heal wounds from the inside out. She was a healer. So like you it's really hard to destroy somebody who can heal themselves, okay? I visit you in your dreams. So this person is astral traveling to you. They are pretty much they are putting themselves in your dreams on purpose. They're doing this to get your attention. That's what this person is doing. They're doing this to get your attention. So this is why you may be dreaming about this person more. Um, maybe you're seeing their phone number in your dream. It's like this person is trying to energetically tell you to call them. They want you to call them. But this person don't want to... Um, they don't want to verbally tell you to call them because then that would mean they would have to reach out to you. So this like this person is still full of like that pride. Pride always comes before the fall. I'm talking about certainly. You will certainly fall if you're full of if you're full of pride, okay? So this person is just very, very prideful. Very prideful energy. I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. Not that this person had real gold, real gold. They traded in real gold for fool's gold. So this person left you. They abandoned you. They abandoned the journey with you to go and be with someone else, something, someone that was fake. Um, Spirit is showing me the empress in reverse or the emperor in reverse. So this is a wannabe. This is somebody who walk around like they are a divine feminine, but they're not. They are not. They don't, they, they're not, they have not graduated. They have not been promoted to that energy yet so this is this is somebody who probably was like because you know life is like a big school and spirit gives you upgrades and depending on the work that you put in so if you are embodying the divine feminine energy that's because you've done the work and you passed the test and you are promoted you are moved to the next phase so this is somebody who has been cheating cheating along the way they they, they feel like they've just been it's like they try to take the easy way out. They want the title, but they don't want to do the work. So this person pretty much has been dealing with somebody who is a wannabe. They, they're cheating their way through life, possibly with spell work and stuff like that. 
You know, so it's just like they're not actually putting in the work to get anything or to have anything. You know, this is somebody who is just skating, trying to skate their way through. They want to be, they want to be seen as a divine feminine. Look at that karmic soulmate. Yeah, this is a karmic. This is a karmic. Yeah, they want, they want your person to see them as a divine feminine or a divine masculine, but they're not. Our union will happen in this lifetime. So this person is like taking the opportunity in my computer just ding. This person just, they, they're taking the opportunity to tell you that um, union, you guys will experience union in this lifetime, but that's their plan. If that's if, if you will still have them. I have some root chakra um, sounds playing in the background because Spirit is telling me that a lot of you guys need to purge and cleanse your root chakra. A lot of sexual energy needs to be cleansed. Okay, that was the thing they gave me to download this morning about um, about purifying sexual energy. You guys, some of you guys need to get a yawny steam. You need to detox your your yawny if you're a woman, or you need to if, as a man, you need to practice um, abstinence. Or and you need to, yeah, they want you guys to pull back. They want you to pull back. Even a woman, I'm hearing abstinence, like like a um a, like a um what is it called, you guys? What is it called? I don't know, shit, it'll come back to me. Fasting, a sexual fast. Okay. Um, they're saying that your 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 root chakra needs fine tuning. So take that how it resonates with you. If you've been feeling like you need to do that, do what you have to do. Okay. Abuse. This person could have abused you. I'm hearing some of you guys they abused you sexually. Um, while we're on, or this person could have been abused sexually as a child. So they just they have a toxic connection to sexuality you know so they abuse sexual sex they abuse it you know they lay up with, with tom dick and harry they lay up with anybody they have multiple sexual partners they just don't have any type of emotional connection to sex and see sex is supposed to be spiritual sex is a spiritual act so it's just like that's where two souls bond and connect so this person possibly has a lot of soul ties you know, they they have all these sexual connections and now they have a lot of sexual entities and a lot of sexual transmitted diseases um, that they receive from people. They receive from people. Some of you guys have a sexual transmitted disease or a spiritual transmitted disease, okay? This person said that they think of you constantly. They think of you a lot. And look at that, energetically communicating with you. So this person is tr is trying their hardest to tap into your subconscious to get you to reach out to them. I gotta go grab these other cards. Hold, you guys, these are my Mystic Bees official unofficial. These were my very very first oracle deck that I ever created. You guys, if you if you're wanting to cop these, you can find these on my Etsy shop in the description box along along with my um, easy tarot cards. They teach the tarot in the meaning in the upright and in the reverse. And I just randomly randomly pulled this card and it's the five of pentacles. So this person feels left out in the cold right now. They it's cold out there where they're at. They feel you energetically um, disconnecting from them. They feel left out right now. This person is actually in the same energy that they tried to leave you with. But see, they don't know how to heal themselves. You do. That's the thing. They try to leave you out in the cold and and you know what i'm saying you found shelter in the storm you found warmth in spirit you found warmth and warmth in god in in the light of divine you found that warmth so it's like the love and the light of god warmed all it melted this ice <laughs> okay this person this is just how divinely protected you are now this person is outside shivering Cause ain't no light being shed on this person. Spirit is making them pay for what they did to you. So they're not, God is not about to shine any light on this person right now. That's going to melt this ice around them because that's where they deserve to be. They deserve to be in this energy. You know, I want to go pull, um, Misty Goddess cards out of my office real fast. <laughs> I haven't used my blue cards in a while. Hold on you guys.
All right, I'm sorry, I had to, they were just calling me, they was like mystic. All right, let me sage them real fast. Spirit, go ahead and reset the energy on my cards. All right. All right, Spirit. What is the energy, the underlying energy for this person right now, Holy Spirit? The underlying energy. is obsessed and infatuated with you this person is obsessed with you <sighs> recovery and reconcile is in reverse so i'm telling you this person can't recover this broken heart that they get that they have right now this is karma and it's it's so hard for this person to recover they can't heal themselves they don't this person cannot heal themselves the way that you can so that's why you guys have actively, you know, moved forward from this person. This is, they don't know what to do with this energy. They don't know what to do. Some, for some of you guys, this person is just like indulging in alcohol, drugs, sex. This is probably why they are having me to play healing root chakra sounds in the background for you guys. Because this person, if you've been sexually active with this person in the recent past spirit is saying that they want you guys to detox because this person has a lot of spiritual uh, spiritual STDs message thank you fake jealous friends or family involved so this person allowed their karmic friends and family to um, pretty much tell them what to do. Um, tell them not to deal with you like that. Don't commit, don't give you their all. Pretty much dictate how they moved in this connection with you. These are karmics. These, these karmics were a sign to throw you guys off of the path together, okay? And your person fell for it. He or she is connecting with the karmic lover. I mean, shh. That, that came out twice in Misty Goddess Oracle and in my Oracle. This person is connecting with the karmic lover. They are, you know? And I really feel like this was their choice. They chose to connect with this karmic lover. I feel like this person chose to, to deal with this karmic lover because they had already burnt this bridge with you. You know, it was just like, this was an easier option. This karmic lover didn't make them really, they didn't have to put in the work with this karmic, the way that they would have had to put in the work with you. They would have had to really, really do some extensive soul resetting, some soul. It's like, I'm seeing this person's soul on an operating table and divine beings having to go, this person would have to go under major spiritual surgery by divine beings in order for them to be repaired. They're literally showing me like a soul laying on an operating table with these divine beings around them, around this soul working on this person. And see, this person was afraid. This person is saying, your person wants you all to themselves, but this is selfish. It's selfish because it's like, if you know you're in your heart that you're not ready or that you have not done the work, you know, Look at that free agent. I want to do what I want mentality. Like I said, you have not done the work. It's like they want to keep you stuck, but they want to be free too. They want to find a way to keep you stuck, but they want to be free. This person has a very low self-esteem. And I really feel like this is why they chose this karmic lover because this karmic did not make them feel no type of way. They knew that with this karmic was going to accept them and all of their low vibrational glory. They didn't have to do any work on themselves. The karmic accept them just for who they are. But in order to be with you, this person would have to go undergo a spiritual, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a spiritual heart transplant. Like spirits, divine beings, divine energy, angels would literally have to take this person's heart out spiritually and, and give them a new heart. And this person is afraid. Do one more. 
me what? Thank you. Look at that. Fear of commitment. Fear of commitment, but baby, please don't go. I don't get it. I'm not getting it. You know, it's just like they don't want you to leave them. They don't want you to turn your back on them. But yet and still, they still fear commitment. They fear growing up. They fear doing the work. This person, the only reason why they keep multiple options is because their self-esteem is so low. They need validation from multiple lovers to make them feel bigger than what they are. You know? So they probably got all these men or women around them that just really like stroke their ego. And you're not going to stroke their ego because you a goddess or you are a god. You know what I'm saying? If, whether you're a masculine or you're a feminine energy, you know who you are. So it's just like, what the fuck I look like? Excuse my French. What do I look like getting off of my throne to stroke your ego? I'm not. No, you're not doing that. See, this person, they just didn't realize who they were dealing with. You know, a lot of you guys, you are earth angels. So it's just like you being a divine being yourself, you're not going to stroke this person's ego ill. You're not doing that. And this is something that, you know, they just wasn't used to. They wasn't used to that. This person would have had to view you as their equal. And they don't like viewing anybody as their equal. This person just, they would rather, they want people to get behind them or under them. You see what I'm saying? No. They, this person did not want to view you as their equal. So, really, you're not their equal. You you are energetically above this person. They were beneath you. How is that someone that's energetically beneath you? Because they have not done the work. They are. This person is like spiritually stuck in the in the second grade. I almost said kindergarten. This is this is somebody whose soul is refusing to evolve. So it's like this is a baby soul, you know what I'm saying, who want to be who want to date a college soul. What? Where is your mother? This is what happens when people don't watch their kids, okay? <laughs> what? Who let you in the frat party? What is going on? Huh? Who let you in here? <laughs> this is so funny. All right, uh, trust your intuition. So Spirit is saying that you need to trust your intuition with this person. Okay, look at that, healing. I'm, I'm taking the time to heal and to accept the love I know I deserve. This is you, you self-heal. You guys are healers. So when you are a healer, you can heal yourself. You don't need nobody to help you heal. You got that all on your own. You guys are known for, your, for going into hermit and healing licking your wounds in private connecting with god connecting with your angels connecting with the universe whoever you connect with and coming back unstoppable okay give me one more card universe thank you look at that i'm missing you <laughs> this person going through it this is mental confusion i probably shouldn't even laugh Screw it. It's too late. I can't take that laugh back. But listen, this person, they they miss you. I've never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. But this is a part of, I mean, listen, when they chose this path to go and be with this karmic lover, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. Maybe they built some things with this karmic behind your back. I don't know, you guys. But now they sit up. They didn't think they was going to miss you like this. I don't get it. But they, it, it is what it is now. Now they're having, they're, it's like they're soaking in this energy. Yep. Fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. This person is fighting themselves, trying to stay away from you. They're fighting a losing battle, though. So, all right, you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. If you have not subscribed to the Mystic Gang Gang, to the Mystic Family, make sure you do so. All right. If you are also not a club member, um, at our clubhouse, the Self Love Club. Make sure you do that as well. The link is in the description box below. And I don't know if the Honey Pie Raffle has ended. I'm about to check you guys. If the Honey Pie Raffle has ended, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the drawing and post the winner. So you guys be out on the be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna try to get it back on track so I can post the winner on Sunday. So bear with me. I'm gonna try to get it back on track. Okay. All right, I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. You are so special and you are you are so full of purpose. All right? Peace.